Hello everybody, my name is Raymond Angle. I am representing Madhugao Cricket Academy, an academy which teaches cricket in the city of Madhugao, Goa. This academy has started work from 1990 and today it is, it is 27th year. Just two years back we had a beautiful ceremony with uh, Sayyid Kirmani, ex test cricket, arguably the best wicket keeper India has produced. He had graced the occasion and also imparted education in our academy for four days. I have played 33 first class matches for Goa and I am also a level 2 ICC coach plus being a NIS coach in 1990, so a great coach and NCA, that is National Cricket Academy through the BCCI, I have stood first in the refresher course in A, level A that is. So right from 1990, we have been coaching students in Madagao and many of them have played first class cricket and two of them have been lucky to play international cricket in junior level. But today I am standing before you to tell you about the hanging ball. What, how you can play on the hanging ball when you are not on the ground. On the ground you are there for around say 2 hours, 3 hours, but what about after that? So there is always a backup with the hanging ball which I call nets at home. Now this nets at home is actually you can play nets without having anybody to bowl at you or throw balls at you. How you can do that? You can do that, but it has to be in a scientific way. We have played on hanging balls before. We have hit the ball here or there, but we have never played on it scientifically. So I will try to explain to you how we can play it scientifically, just the way we play at in the nets or in the match. Now, what is the hanging ball? Now, this is the hanging ball tied nearly 40 years ago and it's still used by me intermittently. Now this hanging ball has got a ball, a cricket ball which I put into a sock and then tied it around 6 feet or you can tie it a little higher. But higher you tie the pendulum would be longer and it will take a little longer to reach the bat. But I think six feet from the ground or six and a half feet is the correct measurement after going through a lot of trial and error method. Now this hanging ball, it is tied in such a way that you can play on the front foot if you take this ball down or if you want to play on the back foot then you have to take the ball up. So this is the basic thing you have to do before you start playing on the hanging ball. How short you want the ball will depend upon how high you take this ball. So you can do it by either tying a knot here or then rolling it on top to take it up. So this is the first thing how hanging ball has to be used. Now there is something called marking on this hanging ball which is the most important thing and if you cannot play on the marking, then there is no use of playing on the hanging ball because you will not be able to play scientifically on the hanging ball. Now what is this marking? I will just show it. Now when you have hung the ball, you make a mark just below it. So this mark is the most important mark for you. You mark it with either a felt pen or a chalk. Then you can mark another spot from this woodwork down. Here you can hang the ball in your uh, door sill, the ventilator, the outside door, in the garage, anywhere. But the parallel line from there, you mark another spot here and another spot this side. You join this line. It has to uh, go through this spot here and this will be your popping crease. Now this is your popping crease to play on the back foot. Now this popping crease will be cut in various 
ways by this foot rule. Now from here, I will take 9 inches and cut it here. So this will be the leg stump, this will be the middle stump and this will be the off stump. Now whose off stump? Right handle off stump or the left handle off stump? Now here again what you can do is mark another spot here, 9 inches from here, 4 and a half inches, this is the middle stump and this is the leg stump. Now this now in the middle is the off stump for both the right handed batsman as well as the left handed batsman and therefore we have made provisions for them this will be the leg stump for the left hander and this will be the leg stump for the right hander so he, he can take the guard there now what you have got to do is you have got to mark those spots and then mark a line and put a tape this insulation tape is the best because I have put this uh, uh, three or four years back and it's still fresh there. So this won't move out from here, this insulation tape. And then you can put these tapes accordingly. This is the off term, you can see the red spot here. This is the off term for the left handed batsman. This is the middle term for the left handed batsman. And this is the leg term for the left handed batsman. Same here, this is the off term for the middle, uh, right handed batsman, middle term and the leg term for the right handed batsman. Now another thing you can do after this, now this is organized, the same thing you have got to organize it behind, taking 4 feet, either you can take a tape if you have or you can mark 4 feet from here and come in. Same thing you have got to do it here, exactly 4 feet, you can leave the pendulum, you are going to cut the off thumb there and the off thumb here. So same straight line, you can take it back mark it here so again this will be the off thumb this will be the middle thumb this will be the left thumb for the left handed batsman and here it is the opposite for the right handed batsman now the left handed batsman will be playing from this side taking the guard will be playing here and the right handed batsman will be playing from here but this ball will be always on the off thumb this is the off thumb line for both the batsmen this has to be first registered in your mind and then you will understand how we can play scientifically. In the same way you go 4 feet further and you mark under the line here and then you mark the same way and then we can, uh, uh, this is over, the marking is over. Pause the guy. You have got the stumps here now. There is the off stump, there is the middle stump and there is the leg stump. Now from here, I am going to show you how to play on the back foot. Now there are three stages of uh, this hanging ball. One is the beginner stage where just he is new. So how he has to play on this hanging ball. Maybe he would need some support. But now there is enough or we could still take it high if you want. It depends upon the height of the batsman. Now this is okay for me. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to stand on the guard, leg stump guard and I am going to swing the ball. Now as the ball comes behind, I am going to play back foot and stop there itself. Okay? Yes. As the ball comes behind, I play back foot and stop there. Now, you have to register that the ball has gone back in a straight line, the way you are hitting. Another thing is your right foot, the toe has to be pointing towards the point that ensures that you are side on. So all these things after playing, you are going to wait and then check for yourself whether you have played it correctly or not. So after playing for a long time, you don't need anybody else then now, you can play here. Then leave one ball, play again, leave another ball, in this way alternate ball you can play and slowly after you play for months alternate ball, you can then go on and play continuously in this way.
if you are with the ball goes straight you come back come back so the ball will go straight that will show that your technique is correct now what is this technique there's a grip number 1 two is the back lift three is the down swing and four is the impact so if the impact is correct that is the full face of the bat showing the ball and hitting in the middle of the bat then the ball will go straight that will ensure that your technique is correct that you can also ensure by staying there and watching yourself whether number 9 the straight bat your grip your other things in the technique so this is how you are going to play the back foot defensive throw and as you go along you play for a longer and longer, longer longer time you will get fatigue now how to play the front foot defensive throw you take this back lower the ball now in the original this is okay the good length ball so here i can play the front foot defensive throw now here i put off stay here this is my next term guard now i take this ball and let's swing it i'm ready once the ball comes here to the view you wait there you ensure that the ball goes straight now you must have seen this marking there's another marking here which is a oblique line one is green and one is red now this oblique line is for your foot to come near it if your foot comes near it left is right foot then it will be ensured that you are coming near to the pitch of the ball so then you can play and smother the ball down there so try to bring the ball uh, your leg towards that oblique line play the ball and stop there itself and watch yourself whether you are playing the ball correctly or no as you have played the back foot to play the front foot stop there if somebody else is there you ask him to check you out again you can play this by leaving the alternate ball leave play the ball is going straight now after some time after a month or so will think that you are playing okay you can play continuously you go on and on and on till your body is allowing you now you can also play glances on this ball for to play glances now this glance is a a complex throw your your bat comes towards the ball the full face but then it turns and uh, you want the ball to go elsewhere not straight back but towards square leg to find leg when you play the glances now how to play the glances again back foot glance you take it up here you do not take it very high because you can also play the ball which is a little short of a good length but you are the wicket will come through the now this is the off stump line but for the glance we need the left stump line or outside the left stump line so what can i do i change the stump now this becomes the left stump line the ball is on the left stump here you going to hit the leg stump or if the ball is turning towards you is going to miss the leg stump so you leave the ball go back and glance it you again practice it because you cannot play this continuously here slowly you will find that you are going glancing the ball correctly and the ball is going very near to the stumps and that means you are doing it correctly Now how will the glance on the front foot? Now this is a short of a good length ball. It's a bit lower down. This is a good length ball. I want to glance it from the front foot. 
the form will do it. Yeah, it's on the next time. So this becomes my guard. The off term becomes the next term now. I then push the ball. Yeah, I've glanced it. A lot of practice and then you will find that you are glancing it towards the fine leg here, this way. So this is how you will practice at home for these front foot and back foot, defensive strokes and glances. There is another stroke you can practice in the footwork. Now you take this behind now, here, the four feet here. Now this becomes your popping place. This is next on guard. So you can play stepping out to meet the ball. I will not say drive the ball because you will not be able to drive at home, play attacking strokes at home. So leave the ball. As the ball comes at you, you move from your crease and try to meet the ball. Yeah. Ensure that your first step is farthest so they can read the ball correctly. And slowly, when you practice on this, you will find that you get stabilized and you get time to then hit the ball anywhere you want after practicing on this. Now, I call this nets at home. Why is that? Because in a net, say considering five bowlers, uh, six bowlers in a net, three spinners and three fast bowlers. They are bowling continuously at you. So how much time with one round take? That is six balls. Two minutes, three minutes, two and a half. After lots of trial and error method, we have come to a conclusion that it takes around two and a half minutes. Let us take it on the higher side, three minutes. A uh, regular round, a regular uh, net is of around 15 minutes, five rounds. So how many balls do you play? 30 balls. Here, on the hanging ball, we play, so uh, you play 30 balls in 15 minutes in that net. But here on the hanging ball, you will be playing 40 balls a minute. Yes, 40 balls a minute. So if you go into a net, consider that you are playing a net here for 15 minutes. How many balls are you going to face? Continuous net, either front foot, back foot, or front foot and back foot. I will show you how to do it together. You will be playing a mind bowling 600 balls. But of course, when you start, you won't be able to play as many. You, and you, when you start playing, at the most you can play 30, 40 balls continuously. But one thing you have to make sure, once the ball doesn't go straight, you have to stop and start again. Remember that. Don't uh, try to hit the ball which comes here, again here and here. No. That is a wrong way of playing and you are going to inculcate wrong habits into you automatically. Now how to play that? Continuously, I will just show you. On this is a good line ball. I have to play both back foot and front foot. So I will not be playing that short or good, uh, over pitch or good line ball. It will be short over good line ball where I can play back foot and front foot together. So this comes here now to the original place. The ball is on the off top. Now I am on the off top of the front foot. I leave the ball, I play the ball, I come here, I play the ball here, I come here. I ensure that I come back to my original place. But again, the ball goes straight, so I can play this continuously on and on and on and on. That will do th three things to you. One is improve your concentration, number one. Number two, Improve your footwork and three, your uh, stamina. You can play for a very long time. You will find out after playing for the two or three months when you go onto the nets, you will find that you are reaching the ball earlier. You have a lot of time when you step out to drive. The ball has still not uh, reached the pitch of the ball, but you already reached the pitch because of hanging ball practice at home. Now, reading the ball, that I will not be able to teach you, I can tell you this and this. But, you will have to read the ball 
Accordingly, you will have to do your footwork. But this part, we can be guaranteeing you that your footwork is going to improve your concentration and your stamina. High hand coordination can improve otherwise also if you play here, there, no problem. But if you want to play technically correctly, if you want to play scientifically, then this is the way you are going to play the hanging ball. So continue playing on the hanging ball. And now I want your reviews on our uh, Murdoch Cricket Academy account. Please tell us what you feel of this uh, coaching drill, whether it is useful for you. If it is not, then please add on your uh, bit and tell us how you can improve. Improve us, that we could improve ourselves and then get a better thing towards you. So thank you everybody.